You can't win. We'll see about that. Puny moth. Yes, we will. No, Mothra. How dare you? Ah. Am I supposed to be scared of a f giant glow-in-the-dark lizard? Huh? But how? I don't understand. And so, as Ghidorah lays dying beneath my feet, I declare myself the king of the monsters. And that, my son, is how I became the king of the monsters. But, Dad? You look nothing like how you described yourself in your story. You're not strong or muscular or tall or handsome. You look like an old man. And you, dear boy, let me show you how to shoot fire out of your mouth, okay? Okay. How's it Godzilla fans, Kaiju fans, collectors, and general people of YouTube, this is Chanzilla1964 coming back with another figure review. Now, today, since this is our 10th video, I figured I'd do a little something special. And yes, I know what you're thinking. These are a lot of figures. And, is that what you think it is? I will get to that in a minute. But yes, these are a lot of figures today. I'm not planning on reviewing them all. But what I figured I would do for my 10th video would be a sort of custom showcase. Since I know that pretty much everybody has seen reviews on literally all of these guys. I might review them a bit, the figure itself. But this is just going to be a custom showcase because I know one big thing for my collection is it's a lot of custom figures. Whether it be painted customs or... Um, sculpted customs or even third party figures that I got from different companies aside from Bandai that's essentially what it's going to be today uh, customs showcase now I plan on doing this more even though that's essentially what the figure reviews are for it's just for a different style of figure review for you guys to check out and it's also a sort of showcase to show off my custom figures that I um, put my heart and soul into. But with that being said, let's get right into these figures. Starting off with the big bad boy in the middle. Yes, this is a YMSF behemoth figure. As you can see though, he does not look like he's been painted by YMSF. That is because, yes, I did custom paint this guy as well. Um, I mean, the detailing, this is all YMSF, man. I mean, YMSF did amazing with this figure. Not only if they would come out with his two companions, Scylla and Methuselah, then the whole pack would be together. And maybe the Queen Muto, my bad, forget about her. Forgot about her. Um, but, I mean, detailing for Behemoth is amazing from his sculpted tusk which look great to his fur all over his body and his spikes on the back of him i mean this guy is everything you may want in a behemoth figure well almost anything which i will get to in articulation but paint wise for this behemoth it was just a simple reddish brown color um painted all the way and then the tusk were this white bone white color and then the toes over here were this bone white color as well. But aside from that, that was pretty much it. Actually, the back part is just a, a 
gray, a light gray. They did a band, I, I mean, why myself just went with a spray brush and just sprayed it all the way down his back, all out, all down the spines here. As for his eyes, Behemoth's eyes were painted black, but I know in the movie they were sort of greenish yellow. So I went ahead and I changed that to give him more of a kinder look. Because with the black eyes, he looked like the straight up, you know, destroyer of cities. That he should be. That he rightfully was in King of the Monsters until Godzilla became the alpha. Articulation for this guy is simple though. Waist and arms. One thing that I wish that Bandai did was they gave him heart head articulation so you can move his head and you can move his arms a little more forward, but that is A-OK -okay because this figure is awesome and amazing as is. Let's go to Rodan over here. We'll review her in a bit. But Rodan, detailing on this guy is amazing. Well, it wasn't so amazing because before, as many of you know, he looked like a depressed, depressed, pterodactyl looking down looking very very sad but with a little chop chop to his neck here and then pulling it his head a little more up he looks like Rodan finally now that's not to say Bandai did a bad job with the detailing so much as the pose because they did an amazing job with the detailing from all the lava crevices going down his wings to his back and his spikes I mean and the face, the face for Rodan, Bandai made him look so evil and so conniving that it screams Rodan 2019. And the paint, Bandai did amazing with the paint too. They painted his beak and his horns over here black, as well as the fingernails black. Not so much over here though. And then his wings, I think they did a good job with his wings, the reddish here, and then the flowing, coming off um, lava colors lack there of better wording um they did not paint the horror the spikes on him but that is okay because i mean be honest could you really see that in the movie although it would have been nice so i went in and it did that and i darkened rodan up a little bit since he was a little bit darker in the movie although i left much of his base coloring alone because i thought it was a beautiful red and yeah articulation wise for rodan no articulation so that sucks. Wish they put articula articulation in the legs at the least, but Bandai really decided to just kind of crap on the 29 Godzilla 2019 line, aside from Godzilla. So, yeah. Speaking of Godzilla, let's go to his friend Mothra. So Mothra here. Nothing much to see. I mean, lots of detail going down her thorax, her chest area. Her face is very nicely detailed with her furry antennas, which I wish were kind of not part of the body so much because, I mean, to be honest, it just looks weird. And the same goes for the legs and the arms. They just look weird being connected to the body as well, especially the big ones. I mean, I could do with the spawns being connected to the body, but the big arms and the legs, I wish were a separate piece to give this Mothra a little more articulation since this Mothra was a powerhouse with her fighting cells with her antenna and her legs. I mean, ugh, I mean, Bandai had, th this figure set had so much potential. Bandai just did not tap into it, which was greatly upsetting when I got them. But I mean, I still love Bandai for what it is, which I mean, it's a kid's figure line, even though it's priced more towards adults, but it is what it is. I mean, I'm collecting it. And as I said, I am 20. But as for Mothra, when she came in, her face was all white, still had this beautiful blue eye coloring. There was not this iridescent blue on the bottom of her wings. The wings are all just black, which Banda, you couldn't have done this on the other side of the wings. I mean, just a little more paint. Come on. But the top of the wings look beautiful, regardless how the bottom of the wings look. I mean, just, I love this Mothra wing design. Many could care less about it, but I personally love it. Articulation from Mothra, it's a statue. It's a plastic statue, just like majority of the 2019 Bandai Movie Monster Series Godzilla 2019 figure line. Yeah, I said 2019 twice. Bite me. I will say though, this Mothra figure 
reigns supreme over all three of those. I mean, just just look at Mothra Larva, all the little detail they managed to put in this little figure, and then capturing her expression of how she was in the movie. This is the goddess, the queen herself incarnate. I mean, this they man, they did a really good job with this Mothra figure, which needs no articulation because it's just a caterpillar. And literally, literally any Mothra larva figure has articulation just on the head and it wouldn't do with this figure. But I mean, this scaling wise for this figure works perfectly. Detailing perfect. Ooh, a phony would focus. Detailing perfect. Paint was very, very good on this Mothra figure as well. I added in the iridescence here and the black for the eyes. It's just a little you know tidbits that I do but I mean it was fine just the way it came and it did come in a three set which was like a hundred dollars I mean like I said I have a problem with overspending but just to get this Mato Lover figure I thought it was worth it so yeah Bandai you did good with the HGEX figure line but what happened to these guys moving on from Mothra though we have the golden death himself King Ghidorah which is I mean he's freaking huge detailing on this guy I mean this King Ghidorah had a lot of great detailing I mean his face is capture him beautifully and his legs and his body I mean it just screams powerful which is essentially King Ghidorah was in the movie but when we get around back here there is a little something something missing on the back of his neck, which was kind of upsetting, but that's, I mean, it's it's fine. Because these figures were based off the concept art for the King of the Monsters figures. So it's, I mean, it's understandable. And at the time that Bandit put them out, I mean, it's, I'm pretty sure it would have been hard for them to change up the thousand something Ghidorah figures, or so they made. Um, but... I mean, detail on this guy looks pretty, pretty good. I feel that it's weird that he's kind of just, his legs are just going into his stomach here. I mean, that looks really, really weird to me. I mean, on top of that though, that's the only weird thing on this guy. Everything else detail-wise looks good. Paint-wise, when this Ghidorah came in, it sucked. There was just like, they couldn't, they, they painted this gold, cause this is the heavy paint version the Godzilla Story exclusive version. But like, the only paint on this guy was this, really. And then the gold over here. They, he didn't have gold in the stomach, by the way. No, he did not have gold in the stomach. No gold here. No gold here. I added this on. No gold. I mean, yeah, actually, no, the band I did paint the tips of his wings, which, yay, thank you. Um, aside from that, that is about it. That's about all that band I painted. This back part here, all blank. No paint whatsoever. So Bandai, you can't call this a heavy paint version if you're not gonna paint the whole thing. But I mean, for being what it is, like I said, Bandai for some reason decided to turn completely crap on this Godzilla 2019 figure line. I don't know why they decided to like just totally not do a good job with this line, aside from the Godzilla, of course. But I mean, it's just, it sucks because we, the fans, suffer for it. But I mean, you know, what are you gonna do? It happened. They're learning from it, as we saw from the um, Godzilla the Ride King Ghidorah figure. Dude's legs ain't going to his body, and he finally got articulation back. Which, by the way, yeah, this Ghidorah, no articulation at all. So, yeah. That sucks. On time for another third party figure though. We have the Argo Jet from Claro's Customs on Facebook. So, I mean, the Argo Jet took a while to come in, but it was well worth the wait because, I mean, if the camera could just focus, the amount of detail on this thing looks, I mean, amazing. From the wings to the jets. To the underside of the plane. 
There's even a little landing gear here. And I believe these are thrusters on the bottom. And then up here are the missiles. But this little part here, the um, and the bridge, I had to add this on because, like, for some reason they left this out. But I mean, that's it. It is what it is. I couldn't have asked for a better Argo Argo figure because I mean it's just a plane. But I mean, if you're gonna go God, if you're gonna have a Godzilla 2019 figure line, you gotta have the Argo to go with it since it's like the Super X3 of the MonsterVerse. Obviously with this thing, no articulation, just a statue. And this is, the stand doesn't come with the Argo plane. Last but not least, let's take a look at the big G's themselves. I figure we take a look at both of them together since they're practically the same figure, just different paint job. So detail on, let's just use this guy for reference of detail. Detail on this Godzilla figure is as always amazing way better detailed than the Ghidorah figure and the Mothra figure for sure and I mean personally I like this Godzilla figure better than the one they came out for um with for the 2014 Godzilla because I felt that his body was just way too small to scream the 2014 Godzilla I mean with this guy yeah, this is Godzilla 2019. Am I right? I mean, his head's a bit big, but I can get past it with the, I mean, just the amount of detail that went into him. And not to mention the paint job for this figure, lackluster, pretty, I mean, it's Godzilla figure. Um, pretty much full black over here. Actually, the whole figure was just pretty much this gray skin tone, dark gray skin tone. Um, the mouth was painted and the teeth were painted, which was very nice. And so was his eyes were just a deep blue. And then his dorsal spikes over here were just kind of dry, were just kind of brushed with this light blue to give off that bioluminescence glow. And I mean, it went all the way up to here. So even this figure got the, not painting it all the way to the tip treatment, which was totally fine because I mean, we're used to it, but Bandai really bumped up its expectations with the earliest Godzilla release. But you know, yeah, this is a custom Godzilla 2019 figure. Cause as you can tell, it doesn't look anything what I described because the belly's lighter. This is kind of a bluish gray skin tone. Uh, kind of, uh, what I was going for was it is a similar skin color to the Playmates Godzilla versus Kong figure. Which I mean, it doesn't take away from the figure from 2019 because I'm pretty sure even the 2019 Godzilla was relatively similar but i mean i just want to put my own twist on it i went with it and let me know in the comments what you guys think about this guy because i have some um i had some hesitation when painting this guy this kind of gray blue but i think it turned out pretty good what do you guys think but this is the more heavier painted version in my opinion because i got these two are the same figure this isn't the bandai I think it was the um, DVD, the, the figure that came with the DVD where it was just a kind of uh, see-through plastic that they just went over with the black um, dry brush and then that was their Godzilla or Burning Godzilla 2019 for Bandai. I think that's what happened but this is, I bought a Godzilla 2019 figure off of eBay and then I painted it like this. Um, I can go into it later if you guys want a separate review of this guy as to the process because it's a long process that I took to paint this guy. If you do want a separate review for the process I went to to paint this guy, do say so in the comment section down below because I may or may not do it in the, at the end of the day. But 
yeah this is my burning godzilla 2019 i just did a base coat of the um of orange i think it was a glow in the dark orange and then i dry brushed over the um black to give it this kind of volcanic charred look and then i just went in with a little bit of yellows and iridescent oranges to give it this crackling fire look but yeah do let me know what you guys think about this figure in the comment section down below and if you guys want to see a process video as to how i painted this guy not exactly how i painted but i'll explain how i painted him but more or less yeah i forgot to mention articulation for this guy is relatively the same two arms move and his two legs move now his tail originally had a glue seal on mine but if you can break it the tail moves but generally i didn't break the glue seal on this guy because i was just too lazy the tail doesn't move when he comes in from whoever you buy it from but yeah godzilla still has the same old articulation but he's the only figure from the bandai movie monster series godzilla 2019 line of figures that came with articulation so it's like best one out of the whole line gotta say it but that is it for today's review um mike now i'm gonna say the same question that i always ask every day do i recommend you guys add all of these figures to your guys collection some of them um i'll point out the ones that i recommend you guys definitely add into your collection and the ones i don't necessarily recommend because they're just kind of overpriced um i don't recommend you guys add her to your collection because at the price you gotta buy this little thing and the set that she comes in like literally she doesn't come alone she comes in that set i don't recommend you guys get her if you don't need her if you really 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 love mothra and you really feel like you need to get her i i mean yeah go for it but i i recommend you guys don't just for this thing if you're gonna get the whole set for all the monsters by all means but if you're just gonna get it for her i don't recommend you do it the Argo Jet, I would recommend you look um, Carla's Customs up on Facebook. I believe she's still producing them, If she, you, but you guys would have to ask her. Um, I'll leave her link to her Facebook in the description below. I definitely recommend you get the Rodan figure. Um, just don't overpay for it, and the Mothra figure. These two, these three actually, do not overpay for it, but I recommend you get them. Get the regular regular version of this guy don't get the heavy painted version it's not worth it trust me i know godzillas i definitely recommend you guys get them i know on ebay they're going for about 34 dollars 35 dollars right now plus shipping so i recommend i re definitely recommend you get the godzilla 2019 bandai movie monster series figures and if you happen to see a ymsf behemoth figure on ebay for a good price no nah, nothing over about 150 200 dollars definitely nothing over $150. Um, I recommend you get the YMSF behemoth figure because he is a, I mean, he is a beauty. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you like what you see, please be sure to subscribe. And if you guys can, please leave a comment down below, especially with the amount of questions that are in this video because it, it just helps out our channel in general. Um, so, this is Chanzilla1964 signing out. Till next time, guys and gals and peeps. Peace, peace.